Uh, it, you know, when people talk about Israel versus Palestine, they they often um, come down on one side or the other. The, the, the right wingers will often say that, oh, Israel's always good. Israel's always right. Israel always does does good. They're not oppressing anybody. And then the but, and then some members of the left will be like Israel is an apartheid state. It's evil. It's akin to Nazi Germany. I, you know, and I kind of see it from a middle way. Yes, I, I do believe the Israeli government's behavior for the Palestinians is, is sort of reprehensible. But the way, the way I view it, it's like, it's like, a traumatized veteran being violent and being being violent and being aggressive towards his family. They say, well, he's no better than not than his wife. It's the same way they say, oh, the Jews no matter as to what they went through. It's like, exactly, because of what they went through, they are, are traumatized people. Yeah. And I also look at it this way. If you have been robbed, if you've ever been robbed at gunpoint over and over again, if you've ever been robbed at gunpoint once, you you know how scary that is. And and when you and now think of that think of that in the same way with the Jewish people in Israel, a lot of Jews have been facing persecution for thousands of years. Who have accused them of doing all sorts, all sorts of horrible things? Selling out of the land based on based on ridiculous allegations of things like eating Christian children. They used to say that was too. They ate Christian children. And they were run out of the homes. They were exiled from their homeland. And uh, finally, Finally, in, in the middle of the 20th century, they were almost wiped off of it yeah, by Hitler. So, think about it. If that happened to you, and somebody said, we're going to give you a place of, of your own, and, and you had that much baggage, You had that much trauma in your history, you would probably overreact a lot too. You would probably do some things that were considered objectionable.
and they get I'm not justifying what the Israeli government is doing. I'm I'm simply asking people to understand where their mind is. Where where their mind as a traumatized people. I really do. I think it's kind of like a person who's been traumatized in war. You can't really blame them for their actions. Again, to, to, I really think to help the Palestinians, we have to understand where the other side coming from. To help the Palestinians, instead of coming off of like these sort of callous sort of, uh, these sort of callous, oh, Israel, Israel is a, a fascist state type of thing. We need to understand where the people of Israel come from. That doesn't mean they're right, but, but we need to understand where their mind is. I think a lot of it is the fear that what happened in Germany and everywhere else will happen will happen again if they let their guard down even for a minute. I really think that. What is? But tell me what you think. Do you think the Israel, the Israelis are justified? Do you think they're apartheid evil? Or do you say, or like me, the the fall from the middle? Thank you. Goodbye.